Hey everybody and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. Robert Rambles here and thank you guys so much for joining me today. I actually had to take a couple of days off. I've just had a few different things going on in real life that have not stopped me but made it so that getting on and, and spending my time playing just uh, wasn't the right call to make. So yeah, I took a couple of days and now we're getting back into things here, so sorry to you guys for missing a day or two there, not having, and I also had some minor issues with a couple of videos that seemed like they went up on the wrong playlist. One video got posted twice, and so yeah, my head just wasn't in the right spot to be engaging uh, with the game or with the channel for a couple of days there, and I, I apologize for that. Let's see, so where we are today is we are going after, I think we need Water Seekers, and then we probably need to head south and then look for the Razor Mane. Once we're done with the Bristleback, guys. So we're going down to Tarajo right now. We have arrows, and we have uh, some bag space. It could look better, but should be okay for right now. And I think we were able to find some of the water seekers around the thorns that were not over by the mountains, but we'll see if that turns out to be true or if I'm remembering incorrectly. There we go, that's lucky. Send our Baron. Well, hello there. We'll worry about you in a minute. We'll see if we get this hunter behind us to pull as well. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty close. Yeah, he's definitely gonna pull. <laughs> He's pulling. I almost forgot what a pain these hunters are with their patrols. Hey, we're almost done with tusks. You know you've been playing retail when you you loot an enemy and you stand there and you're wondering why it's not group looting. Let's just take out the hunter first this time. Uh, let's see, are any of you guys water seekers? You are, and you are a hunter. Let's take you out first. Maybe we can pull him out. Ooh, he had a little Frost Nova that he did. That was cool. We need two more. I see one on the other side of the structure here. Let's... Ooh. Okay, there's one over here. Uh, are we gonna get walked up on again? Maybe. 
This poison sure does last for a long time. Well, that didn't take too long at all, and we're right by the town, so that's perfect. Uh, let's grab this Thunderhawk for the other quest we have. We only need one Saliva Gland, which tells me that it's never gonna drop. It's never gonna drop. Should've saw that coming. You know what, it would also be really great if I ever remembered to turn Cheetah off. When we get into the thing called combat, sitting here wondering why I'm dazed. I think because I was poisoned as well, I just didn't think too much of it. It seemed perfectly normal to be moving slowly when you're poisoned, so I didn't realize- Oh, you're getting dazed because you left Cheetah on again. What would an episode be if I didn't leave Cheetah on? I, just, I have to do it now at this point. It's become a constant. I think I, I would... I, maybe I'd see it more if it was set up more like the auras that a paladin has, but probably not. Uh, who are we looking for? Over this way. Let's just see what his follow-up is before we try to go find... Ah, uh, these razor main weapons. Yes, yes, filled with joy because finally the bristleback know my tribe's pain, orc. That is how I should feel, but that is not the case. You aid your people and they honor you. Mangletooth aids his people, and what do they do? They turn their backs on him. They forget him and leave him to rot in this cage. I aid them even from locked from behind locked bars, and they send no one to save me. Blood shards of Agamagon, Amaga, Agamagon, Agamagon. We're going with Agamagon. Along with the thorns, the blood affected other aspects of the earth. Blood red stones mixed in with other minerals. The bristleback dig up these shards and carry them as totems for strength in battle, and the totems for their magic. I know the secrets of that magic. Bring Mangletooth one of these blood shards. And to show you understand, bring Mangletooth many of the shards, and he will bless you. I think we have some of these. Oh yeah, we do. So here's the quest turn, and just one of them. Ah, you do understand. My words are not lost on your ears, Orc. Mangletooth may be caged, but no cage can stop Agamagon's power. The touch of the shard, the feel of it, it has been a long time, Orc. Do you know what it is like to have your power severed from you? But that is a tale for another time. I promised you information. I promised you Agamagon's power. My people turn their backs on Mangletooth. Now I loose you upon them. We're, we're doing the bidding of a caged Quillbor. That's how low we are. Holy shite. Oh, these are just turn-ins for buffs, aren't they? Maybe some of them. Spirit, Strength, Agility, Wisdom. So some of these may be quests, but let's grab Agility. Uh, increases Agility by 10. I don't think that's a lot, but... Can we stack multiples? Oh, that's cool. Alright, Betrayal from Within. Three of my tribe came out of the crawl to lead the raids against the orcs. They are ruthless and cunning, and if you defeat them, then your crossroads and even most of the barons will learn peace. At least from the Razormane tribe. Knock 
Kuz and Lock Orkbane are the ones you seek. They are far to the south of the Barrens. One is a spellcaster, another a tracker, and their leader, the one called Orkbane, a warrior. Kill them, Orc, like they have killed me. Yeah, sure, it will kill whoever you want for experience and gold. I've said it many times and I'll say it again. We are awful people. <laughs> As a character, we are just... We don't have any kind of like moral standing uh, at all. None of our decisions are, are based um, on any kind of like moral compass or even like a purpose. Like, a, you know, if we were a hero of the Horde, I don't know if this is how we'd go about things by helping this guy exact revenge. I don't know if that's how to do it. I couldn't possibly backfire on us, right? Alright, let's take a look at what we have going on. Oh, this is the this spear tooth. Fiercest raptor, where is this guy? Oh, we need to bring a zebra to a dead tree to the northwest of Ratchet. Like maybe somewhere over here. We should do that soonish, I guess. Do we have a zebra carcass? We haven't fought any zebra recently. Okay, we need to be on the lookout for a zebra carcass. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, we have this completed. This goes back to Mancrick. Weapons of choice, that also takes us down to fight the Razor Mane. Oh no, we have, we're tracking weapons of choice. Betrayal from within. We'll track it, I don't think that we are going to do it yet. Okay, so they are to the south. Let's go south. Let's go to the south. We'll keep an eye out for a Zevra. And I, I guess we'll keep an eye out for the named guys too, although... I don't know if they're going to be in the same area as the enemies that we need for weapons of choice. Am I missing it? Um, hmm. oh, there it is. Oh, fire spell damage. We don't need that. There's a Zevra. Hey, there's our fresh Zevra carcass. I'm glad we didn't have to farm Zevra for that. Uh, we'll probably just end up flying to Ratchet at some point to do that. But for now, let's figure out where these uh, Razor Mane are at. Oh look, we have an unspent talent point. <laughs> Not a surprise. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep going into Unleashed Fury. I think that's the right call. Who are we getting Lightning Glance from? Is it, is it these guys maybe?
Ooh, and we had a quest for silithid eggs, which I think we're gonna find in, in these areas? Maybe? We have quite a bit to do. Yeah, this is the Field of Giants. Okay. There we go, they're clickables. Now, our enemies gonna spawn when we click these? I don't know. We have to be right next to it to click it. Okay, so they're gonna drop more than one. This is this area is pretty densely packed. I wanna pull this rare. But I wanna pull him like over here somewhere, potentially safer. Oh look, he even came with a little buddy. There we go, now that that's sorted out. Oh, he's spawning little buddies. We'll get this guy when he comes back. He didn't seem to have that much health. There we go. Uh, not sure what's going on here with his health. Did he heal himself? I must have missed it. I was, I was paying attention to on-screen elements and not the health bar for a minute. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, that's not great. That's not great. So, about those potions. Uh, this might not do it. This might not do it. I think we're gonna die. <laughs> the health bars are not proceeding at the rate they need to for us to live. That sucks. I'll tell you that. Lovely. Okay, let's run it back. Uh, he healed himself to full twice? Okay, yeah, we can't... I mean, we were close, but... I don't know if that's happening. Would have been cool if that other player had, like, hung out for a minute. We could have invited them. Inviting them would have been smart. Uh, by that same token, they could have invited us. It's a two-way street. Oh, uh, now we think about uh, all the places we've gone wrong in life to get us to this moment. So many things. I'm worried he's going to patrol the area and basically make our life impossible when it comes to collecting these eggs. That's the current worry. <laughs> we ran so far. This guy's still hanging out. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Uh, not enough mana, yeah. Not surprising. Okay then. Yeah, maybe we're looking somewhere else for eggs. I'm not real. Oh, hi. Not too excited about having to work our way in there. I think these Silithid in general are just going to be a huge pain, aren't they? Because they summon these stupid little ads. 
turn these ugly health bars on to be able to see what's happening. I don't like it, but it's what we have to do. Oh god, there's a chance we could skirt around him, but oh hi, hello, you're you're just gonna randomly spawn stuff like this, or what exactly happened there? Okay. Yeah, I officially don't like this little area. I look at this one's maybe we'll just keep getting this one over and over again as we as we try to clear in and fail. We'll just keep looting the same egg. It spawns an enemy. It's a silithid protector. It's supposed to be a silithid, but it's clearly just a crab. Oh, hi. Yeah. This is gonna be lots of fun. So at least we have no we have no aspect on, but at least we don't have cheetah on. I guess you could look at it that way. Not only are we not making progress forward, we're actively being pushed out of the area by respawns. That's a good sign. No chance that these guys drop the eggs too, huh? Doesn't look like it. This is annoying because now I feel committed to going this way. Even though we, we realistically can't. I also don't really see any other clickables back here. So yeah. Maybe we are wasting time here and should move uh, to a different area. Like, let's go look over here maybe. I don't see anything from back here, but who knows. And then we could cross the road to the other side. Uh, what do we have? We have 4 out of 12. They're dropping 2 to 3. A pickup. So maybe four more of these we need to loot. Did we not get a growl there? No growl? Okay. Oh, great. Okay, what are we getting rid of? We're getting rid of the extra arrows. Can we get out before it activates? Oh, we can. We don't have to fight it. They have these little guys, like, out on the perimeter that, like, yeah, they're easily missed. I don't see any, but the other ones seem to spawn in, like, only as we got closer to it. Like, it was- oh, they see, there we go. Alright, let's take out this one over here.
All right, yeah, let's clear this one out. And hopefully it'll all stay dead and we can retreat back the same way. We'll see how that goes. We're going to pull this one back. I'm, a, I'm worried about our bare body pulling one of the others. We're going to do the same thing to this one. Alright, so this should be our last one. Can't be this easy, can it? Shoot. No! Ah, shit. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, this is not good. I don't like fighting these things with these little bugs. Hey, look, it just keeps spawning more the longer it's up. That's no good. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Bear, you need to, like, help out a little bit, buddy. Let's get on this. There we go. Yeah, we knew it couldn't be as easy as walking up and taking what we needed. Okay, now we can get out. We're in combat with something. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do here? Do we want to turn some of these in? We could hearth back uh, and turn and consume by hatred. I just kind of worry about if we, if any of these chain and we don't pick them up and we could be doing them while we're out here doing other things. And we have that whole inventory situation that we need to sort out. Uh, where is, oh, I didn't, <laughs> uh, our hearth isn't set to crossroads anymore. It's set to Tarajo. Well, okay then. Oh. I'm gonna hang on to these. We lost our buffs when we died. Whoops. We need that. Alright, let's let's jump a flight, I guess. Where does Egg Hunt turn in? Is that in the crossroads as well? Okay, yeah, it would have been really convenient had I left our, our hearthstone alone. That's okay. It's a quick flight. We're going to drop this one. Yeah, I mean, I could probably fight my way back into that. This is back in that elite village of Worgen. 
Well, they're humans in the day, I guess. We have to get back to the inn and find this book, but... Don't think we're going to be doing it. There's never anybody playing <laughs> in Silverpine at our level. So, yeah. Makes it kind of hard to work on those elite quests. Really looking forward to TBC Classic. <laughs> uh, there's, there's just nothing quite like leveling with, with that first round of, of players. Uh, I remember... Back on the priest and on the warrior, just like having so many people that you could quest with, able to do dungeons the right way, able to take on world quests and just tougher areas in a group. And like you don't get any of that organic gameplay, like multiplayer gameplay um, anymore in Classic, at least not on my server. And yeah, so for that reason I really look forward to Burning Crusade launch. Which is uh, it's shaping up to be sometime probably in around the same time Classic came out in the first place at the end of August uh, of 2021 this time. Okay, yep, here we go. There's the eggs. We don't need either. We're going to take the mail to sell it. Spirits be with you, man. And we'll tell Mancrick that the deed has been done. If we can find the guy. Hunter, you take my task seriously, and for that I thank you. Although my desire for revenge remains, I can at least smile, seeing that the Quillbore have felt pain themselves. Okay. Um, well, you know, we could take the agility, start stacking some agility like we actually need for damage. That'd be cool. I feel like we already crank out, like, quite a bit of damage. But hey, if we can deal more damage, I'm not gonna complain. All right, we're gonna take a break here. Um, when we come back, we're gonna look for the tree northwest of the of Ratchet to plant the Zever carcass and then get that quest done, and then we'll head back to Tarajo, and we will go from there. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I really appreciate your continued support on the series. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other, and we will see you back in the Barrens really soon. Bye now.